If you've had a baby, have you noticed that your body has changed and not necessarily in a good way? Well, if you've tried to diet, you've exercised, and you're still not happy with the after baby look, have you thought about plastic surgery? Joining me from Columbus Aesthetic and Plastic Surgery is Dr. Susan Vasco. Dr. Vasco, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And you actually refer to some of the most popular procedures that you do for these women as mommy makeovers. Yes, that's a term that's in our industry to describe uh, different procedures that women may be interested in after having uh, being done having their kids. And what are some of the most popular procedures that you have women coming to you and saying, can you help? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably the number one is a tummy tuck or an abdominoplasty. And uh, second would be some type of breast surgery, whether it's a reduction, uh, if they're done having kids, done breastfeeding, an augmentation, a breast lift, and uh, the other category is liposuction. Is this becoming more and more popular? I mean, plastic surgery in itself is becoming more acceptable in our society mm -hmm. and easier to do, and you say even in outpatient settings. Yes. Uh, I, th I think there's definitely a growth in the number of women that are having it done. It's a lot more socially acceptable. A lot of the procedures are safer than perhaps they used to be. Uh, and we also, as a society, are a little bit more figure conscious and wanting to kind of get back into that shape that we had before we had the kids. What would you say is the average age, then, of a patient that comes to you and says, I'm ready for a mommy makeover? Oh, 30s to maybe early 40s. And when they say I want a procedure, can they have more than one at one time? Absolutely. Doing breast surgery and a tummy tuck at the same time is very popular because in, um, in essence you're remodeling that whole trunk area and having it look into balance rather than... I love the, that term, uh, remodeling. <laughs> right. uh -huh. But you, know, you have um, you know, your abdomen looking uh, very nice and flat and then you can get the breasts perked up at the same time. And you said sometimes you actually do then augmentation and make them smaller. Does breastfeeding actually increase the size of a breast, or obviously they can cause some sagging, but uh -huh. when would you do that procedure and actually reverse it? Uh, for a breast reduction? Mm -hmm. um, a breast reduction, uh, I do like the ladies to be done breastfeeding. Um, not everyone is interested in breastfeeding, so it's not an absolute criteria. True. But um, uh, to be done breastfeeding to uh, probably by at least three to six months um, to allow the size to get back. Um, and um, uh, a lot of times breast reductions, uh, a lot of people don't think about it, but it is covered by insurance. And so uh, oftentimes they'll need to have documentation that they're having problems from the breast size, back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, rashes under the breast, things like that. So when we talk about some of these procedures for women who have had babies, what do you recommend? Six months after they've had a child, a year after they've had a child? What I like to see is uh, one that they are back, maybe not their ideal body weight, but a weight that they're comfortable with, with a reasonable amount of diet and exercise. Exercise. Um, second, that uh, some of the procedures have restrictions in terms of lifting. For example, a tummy tuck, I would not have the patient lift for the first six weeks. And so if you have a, a young child at home yeah. that's maybe still in a car seat or being pulled... Um, yeah, that's hard the, to do. <laughs> yeah, and so you either need to wait until you're beyond that time or you have an awful lot of help at home. So what kind of cost are we talking here? Uh, a tummy tuck uh, with surgery fee, operating room, and anesthesia would probably run in the 7,000-ish range, something like that. Same for breast augmentation with surgery fee, operating room, anesthesia, and the cost of the implants around 7,000. Um, a breast lift is probably closer to the 5,000-ish range. Reduction almost always is covered by insurance but if you're paying out of pocket it's in the five to six thousand range and is it best if a woman has decided I'm done having all my children instead of doing this work and then you get pregnant again yes uh, for a couple of reasons one the breasts definitely change with pregnancy and mm -hmm. so you would uh, not so important for the augmentation because a lot of the augmentation ladies are very small to begin with and so they don't have a lot of breast tissue to change with pregnancy uh, but the um, the lift, uh, ladies having the lifts, it's nice to be done having kids. And also the tummy tuck because if you've really tightened that skin and tightened that abdominal wall and then you have another pregnancy, you're kind of undoing mm -hmm. what's been done with the surgery. Well, th this has been very interesting, Dr. Vasco. Thank you very much. My makeovers, who knew? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks.